What is up, guys? This is Jason from Kuhon. Today, I'm going to show you how to do basic project management in Kuhon. Um, let's get to it. First, log into your account. Go to kuhon.com and then go to your project interface. In here, this is where you manage all your project. You can search your own project. Or you can view your project and also enter the project by here clicking enter tool you can create a project by clicking the button here and also uh, on the top bar you can see we have different language options we have seven different languages here you can also click to the learning page which just got released last week to check out more tutorial contents so let's go one by one let's view one of our projects in here, you will be able to export your project in CAD file. And see, we have one level in this project, so it's going to export the floor plan of level one. And you can see all the renderings here, which you can filter the renderings by views. And among the renderings, you can see, you can filter the rendering by views, by panorama, normal view, and the top views. You can check out the renderings in the project uh, folder and also you can specify resolution as well. In here, this is where you can export your floor plan into your PDF file. There are several different options you can turn on and off for the graphic presentations. And note that if you want to explore the floor plan, if you change the walls to load bearing walls, it will show as a post shade, which is a black line here. And this is after once you generated your panorama renderings where you can do a light 720 tools. You can generate it real quick by quickly selecting the views that you like to use. This is showing as where you have included in this walkthrough. So if I select the point and click generate, So on another hand, we also have a smart walkthrough. But in general, when you use a 720 walkthrough, you'll be able to share the link with your friends and your client. So enough with the project. In the next part, I can show you how to share the project. Click on the button here and click share. You can rename the project, duplicate it. So currently, as a pro user, I can share the project with anyone and who can view my project by copying the link. You can also share it to your social medias very easily. Just click on one, one of the social media icon here. Uh, let me copy the link and look at what it looks like. And then once you send your friends a link, you can simply paste it into your web browser and then enter. And this is what your client will see, not only in your project renderings, but also floor plan, 720 tools, which your client can click into. All the panorama renderings you like to show. The top view and axiometric view for real estate level presentation. Also, you can see the floor plan here. This is a really useful export link to share with your client and also, you can view this link on your mobile phone, also desktop, desktop as well. Uh, so the next part, I'm going to show you how to remove watermark in your renders. If you uh, subscribe to users, you can go to customize and you can uncheck or check the watermark here to decide whether if you want to keep the watermark in your cool home render. Same with the panorama. In the panorama renderings, generally, I recommend keeping the floor plan or navigator on so the user will know where to click on when you're looking at the renders. Also, you can disable share the link, social media, and QR code in the panorama render. And for mobile, you can enable the VR function as well. So back to the setting, if you go to the personal library, this is where you see all your renders and uploaded models 
and textures. So you can easily upload textures and customize 3D assets here. And one more thing, if you want to check your subscription and uh, render allowances, go click into account. Go to your account setting. And then go to your subscription. This is where you're able to see all your render allowance that you have and the upload limits, your next billing date, your credit card information, and you can also check out more plans if you want to. And this is where you can reset your password, which is in the account setting. And also you can turn on and off the email notification. And whenever you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out our 24 seven custom support. And you just say custom service, it will connect to our live chat custom service. There you go. See you next time.